Kamenzov is the future of MMA. He's, he's what we're seeing. No one wants to step in and fight this guy right now. You're going to see both guys switch off a lot. Dave Rickles goes back and forth between Orthodox. Oh, he just got tagged. Amazov is going to always look to counter Rickles when you see him squaring himself off in that switch from Orthodox to Southpaw. Nice kick, good motion on the mouthpiece and swing. Amazov is definitely finding a home with that left hand. He's bringing that left hand down, bringing it over the top, and Dave is not seeing it, and it's causing Dave a problem. Amazov taking him down. This is where I talk about that transitional game. Amazov is so good with his wrestling. Everyone looks at him as a striker, and his wrestling is just simply outstanding. Rickles trying to work his way up. Yeah, he needs to get his back on the fence just like he's doing, but you see that Amazov exactly has that leg and the ability. He lets him get up. He lets him work and use that energy to get up, and I take you right back down. That is very frustrating for a fighter. 25-year-old Yaroslav Amazov has been with the same team in Kiev for the past decade. When he started training his combat sambo at age 15, had his first professional fight at age 18. Trains with a three-time and a four-time combat sambo world champion, as well as spending time at American Top Team, and he's trained some of his striking at Tiger Muay Thai as well. Rickles is free late in round one. Well, it's one of the things that makes Dave Rickles very difficult is he is always in outstanding condition, and he brings that pressure. You know, Josh Thompson was talking about both of these guys come forward. Who's going to be the guy to go back? And it's that's a question in this. The wrestling is going to change it. If Dave ends up on his back, he's going to have to figure out a way to get himself back to his feet and not stay on his back so long. That caused him to lose the first round. And if he allows this to happen again, now he's going to be coming into the third round if it goes to, you know, all that way, where he's going to have to do something as far as a submission or knockout to get that win. So that's what's so important about the positioning of a fighter in MMA. When you get to these positions, you end up taking away a lot of the offense. Now look at it. Gets back towards guard. Dave Rickles can now start to land more strikes. But those are more to aggravate and just make you move where that elbow causes damage, and that's what the judges are looking at. Looking for a Dars choke here. Remember, Rickles getting that has in place. never been submitted. 29th pro fight. He's almost got that in position. Rickles has got his arm up where it should, and that use of that leg. Yep. It is all over! Amazon the first to submit the caveman! Just going to say, the use of that leg is creating a pressure on that neck with that choke, and it can work. That's what is. That's when we talk about a guy that is good everywhere. His striking, his wrestling, making things happen for him to the point where he gets the opportunity for the submission, pulls it off. Outstanding performance by Yaroslav Amazov. Here you go, when he gets to that half guard position, you see that arm starting to sink in. It comes from under the arm to the neck, and you see him trying to bring his arm up and through, just getting that position. Now he slides it, gets the hand to the elbow, and now he's got that crank. Look at the position of Rickles' head. He is being choked. That forearm is against his carotid. There's nothing he can do. Amazov doing a good job of defending the takedown attempt. And when you ask Amazov about Ed Ruth, he says he's just a basic wrestler who fought at a very good level for amateurs, but this is MMA. That's my point right there. You just saw Amazov taking the position. Beautiful throw to get Ed Ruth on the ground. Now the question is, can he keep him there? Well, Amazov says he can take anyone to the canvas, and he doesn't think any of his opponents will take him down. And Ed Ruth trying to do just that. And moment. 
momentarily succeeds, but not enough to nope. matter. No, as it's just a positional change, had no effect on the fight. You just look and you say, that's great, but the more that you bring your wrestling in just at moments, at least it makes your opponent have to consider and work against it. For Amosov, his 22 victories are made up of eight knockouts and 10 submission wins. 30 seconds left here in the opening round, and Roof tenaciously looking for the takedown, and there's Amosov looking for a takedown of his own, and now opening up here in the final seconds of the first round. Kick misses for Roof. Head kick, jab by Amosov. We're headed to round two. Amosov, Sambo practitioner, long time fan of the legendary Fedor Emelianenko, and in some ways shares some of the Russian icon's characteristics. He's been known to finish fights early, but here in round two against Easy at Roof, and looking for the finish, perhaps lighting up Roof before clinching. Nice shot, he landed against Roof there. You know, what you're looking for, what the judges are looking at when they're looking at these shots, you have what we call volume shots. That's the last thing that they're considering. You're looking for, you do that knockdown, that's what's really gonna score. And if you don't have knockdowns, it's, is it a damaging strike? Does it, does the fighter show that it affects it? And then you go to volume, you go to the first round, we really had a volume effort, and I think that Amazon had just a little more volume than Ruth. Amazov with some tremendous footwork as well. Knee up the middle. Other knee strike and good looking to the takedown look of the wizard. Beautiful wizard by Amazov. Ruth looking for that takedown. Amazov hits that wizard, driving him down. Got himself out with it. Outstanding defensive wrestling. Samazov with the volume, not all of them scoring, but muting the offense of Ed Roof. Exactly. Changes levels, looking for the takedown. As but Roof, though, inside control. But well defended by Amazov. Amazov giving up his back. Roof looking to take advantage of that, looking high. Ruth yet to record a submission victory. And this now his 10th professional fight. And this is where Ruth, going back to those wrestling roots, you see he doesn't put the hooks in. He likes to do that hip right like a wrestler will do. Amazov right now looking towards a, a roll, towards a knee bar. Doesn't have it at this moment. Unofficial scorecard. Unofficially, I have Yaroslav Amazov up two rounds to none. He's just done a little bit more, landed just a little bit more in the volume category. Nice big right hand by Ed Roof. Inside leg kick by Amazov, body kick. Countered by Roof, and Amazov closing the distance, misses with the left and right, and Roof picking him off. Yep, nice counter strikes by Ed Roof. And so far, Heeding the advice of his trainer, Bob Cook, being busier, but Amosov trying to bring the fight now, backing up side to side, gets tagged with the right hand. Ruth avoids the return fire from Amosov. Amosov changing levels, gets the takedown, but Ruth able to get back on his feet, looking to break the waist lock. This job of dragging him to the ground. Caught the leg on the outside, tripping him down. But this is that handwork that you're seeing. Ed Ruth, he's gonna end up on top. And he does now on his back. Two and a half minutes left in the fight. Ed Ruth on the back door, escaped by Amazon. That's when you look, why are you not getting your hooks in? Hooks would have kept him on Amazon's back. Push kick by Amazon. Final 30 seconds of this fight. Come on, 
Counter right hand partially blocked by Ruth. And we are down to the final 10 seconds of tonight's main event. Easy Ed Ruth and Yaroslav Amasov go the three round distance. Your final verdict, Big John. And they both get a takedown. What's your final verdict? Goes. My verdict, I have, I have Yaroslav Amazov winning this fight. All for the winner, by unanimous decision, and still undefeated, Yaroslav Amazov. Amazov now 23-0, 4-0 in Bellator, handing Easy Ed Ruth his second setback. But here's the one thing I want to talk about, John, is the hangover for Amosov, okay? Because the hangover of a huge win over Ed Ruth, thinking like, okay, I'm 23 and 0, I should be like pretty much next to line. Came off being the main event. Now, what's going on? Like, he's got to be thinking, okay, like, what, well, you know, I have a huge win right now over Ed Ruth, and now I'm fighting someone who just fought a couple weeks ago who's in top shape, but relatively unknown. Amazov is the future of MMA. He's, the, he's what we're seeing, because when I say that, Amazov didn't come from one distinct type of background. Nothing as far as I, he was a wrestler or he was a kickboxer. And you can see how he'll transition from one element to the next. Leveringer started as a wrestler, but it's what Amazov does in being able to transition from one element to the next. Nice shots he's landing too, big heavy shots. This is not where Leminger wants to be on his back. John, you were talking about that a second ago. What he did is he touched him first with the head kick, came back, he doesn't look like he's throwing anything with power. And the things that come straight from your chin, right down the pipe, are the ones that do the most damage and they get there the fastest. But you can see by Leminger's face that it's a, it's a, there's an effect to it, a lot of damaging effect to it. Take a look at that eye. That eye is not looking good. The left eye of Mark Leminger is definitely cut off. And he's pouring it on. Amazov teammates with Perevchenko, who we saw earlier, trains with both of the Perevchenko brothers, the combat sambo world champions. Wants to step in and fight this guy right now. This isn't gonna make anybody change our mind anytime soon. <laughs> that's the statement of the night there, Mike. Thank you. Thank you very much. The pressure there that is telling him, I can't. Ed Ruth was a good wrestler, by the way. Yeah, he was. Not bad. He's a legendary in Happy Valley. Big round one for 23 and 0, Yuroslav Amazon. And it's not over yet. John, how do you look at this round? 10 8? You could definitely look at this round, 10 8. Did you have domination of position, domination of the action? Yes, and did you have damage? Absolutely. There was a point where Leminger was really hurt. Yeah, they're taking a, a good look at that one. And I'm, I cut all the time. Yeah, it is all over. Now in this exchange, notice all the punches are coming from different angles. So what he's doing is he's touching him from uppercuts, left hooks, then he does a, a loopy left hook. He's changing the angle of all of them. The other thing as well, it was the very last punch there that actually cut him. It was more of the grazing of the glove. That sometimes is what does the most damage, John, as you know. Yeah, many times it's, it stretches the skin past it. It doesn't hit real hard, but it actually catches the skin and kind of stretches it to the point where the skin tears. The winner by TKO, he's still undefeated Yaroslav Dynamo Amasov. <laughs> John, the first thing I noticed with Logan's story, look at the size of his legs. Jeez. I never had big legs, so I admire other people that have big legs. Logan Storley, a six-time state champion, because in the states of South Dakota and Minnesota, you're eligible in seventh, eighth, ninth grade, and then, of course, your high school years in seventh grade. He beat an 11th grade. Now, in MMA, he is trying to beat the man who has the best record of all active fighters in the sport. What Amazon said pre-fight, Josh, he's a good wrestler when he's on top, but I think if I advance two or three times,
he will tire. My takedowns will take over. I am more versatile. John, I can't explain to you how impressive this is so far what I'm seeing. He's just driving his knee into the ground, staying heavy on that hip, so Storley can't pick up the leg and start to drive into him and get to the takedown. I mean, if I had to say there was a similar opponent, John, it would be Ed Ruth. Sure. Ed Ruth being a, a three-time national champ out of Penn State, whereas the two of them had some battles and scrambles in there. Here's the thing that Logan yes. had mentioned, though, John, in, is that Amosov oh, fights at like 60, 70, sometimes 80%. We haven't even seen the best Amosov yet, which is crazy because he's just so relaxed, so composed in all of these positions. That hip switch right there was beautiful. But Amosov's been working at ATT with Austin Vandefer, uh, Johnny Eblen, like guys like that that are physically bigger guys than Logan Storley and very, uh, very good wrestlers as well. Austin Vanderford looks at who gets the takedown. Yeah. Who that's the first one with the takedown. And that's what Yaroslav said pre-fight, John. That is exactly the difference in this guy. He is not the wrestler, he's not the striker. He's the MMA fighter. He does it all. Nice switch there by Logan. But again, Amazov takes him right out of it. Logan Storley did not sit down between rounds. Yaroslav Amazov sat down on the canvas, which might mean somebody forgot the stool. It might mean exactly that. Amazov came out with a beautiful left-right combination. He just landed on Logan. Keep that pressure on him. That voice of ruthless Robbie Lawler definitely penetrates through this empty arena. That was nice right there. Nice job by Storley. Got Amazov to turn Wait for that balance here. point. Get on top. Here goes Amazov. This is where he won the scrambles with Ed Ruth as well, which is crazy to think because Ed Ruth's ability to scramble is just insane. He didn't win that one with uh, Story. So he did a good job of maintaining that position. How about you hit him once? This is the fight that I was the most excited to see on this card, John, because I knew it would be a chess match, exactly what we're seeing right here. That first one was pretty good. Well, we know how good Logan Storley is. Not every wrestler's wrestling translates into MMA well, but Logan Storley has, and he's very good with it. But we've seen Amazon and seen how good Amazon is in this scramble type situation right here and what he can do. Yeah. He set up that Darce. Got that Darce, and it's in a position that can work. And that's in tight. Oh, that's that in tight. Oh, he finished it right here, right now. It's going to be over. Oh, he got the leg free. Nice job by Logan Storley. He's able to slip out with the sweat. Yeah, but he is definitely gassing from the pressure of that choke. 19 finishes amongst his 24 wins. Well, we talked about his ability to scramble, training with Kamal Usman. So this is where he feels like he can excel in this fight to make uh, Amosov tired. Well, you got to figure he's going to practice against guys like Gilbert Burns and have to survive the submissions that a world champion is putting on him. So he's been there before. That was a really nice job by Logan Storley. Amazon, 10 career wins by submission, eight of those by choke. Storley oh. survives. Amazon mouthpiece came out. Nice shot by Logan Storley. That was sweet. Continue to put the pressure on him. The instruction from the corner of Storley and the blue gloves. Chin down. Yes. Stay sharp. Stay high there. Get to the hole. Hey, shut that leg. He's trying to set up that Darcy again. Here he goes. He's good at rolling through on that. He's very good with it because that's not an easy thing to do. John, as this fight goes on though with Amosov, he always fights at this 60-70%, so nothing has a ton of power on it. You see how relaxed he looks right now. But right now, when you're taking a look at what's everything that's happened with all the action in this, it's only Amosov that's been in positions to cause an end to this fight right now. Storley has won what we call positional control at times, but nothing as far as endangering Amosov and he's going right back to that Darce. Control the wrist, he moves your guard. Right now it would be, yep. It seems like things come out a little harder, a little bit more technical from him. How do you judge that, though, as a, as a judge? Well, right now, when you look at Amazon's fighter, everything that you're seeing is what we call volume. He's hitting him with volume. He's not hitting him with real heavy shots. 
He's not hitting him with what we call damaging shots where you see him get hurt, but he's putting volume on it, and that right now is winning in this round. Showed good discipline, too. Hesitating and not throwing that kick earlier when Storley was down. I know, I was really worried when all of a sudden I saw him start to get out. And he started to chamber that kick, and I was like, no, 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 don't get in the way of an outstanding battle. John, for someone who has really no wrestling credentials, Amosov, he just is wrestling with the best guys, in the, some of the best guys in the world. Well, you're four-time combat ensemble world champion. You've done a little grappling. Look at him trying to get his hips high above Storley's hips. Oh, 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 that's in. John, he's got that behind the head and under the chin. But there's no doubt he should hold on to that, relax, just squeeze nice and comfortably. A lot of air in his chest right now will help that make it tight. That's a lot of energy going out right now if Logan can't finish this, though. It is definitely not going to be finished. But man, it was close, and he snuck it in quick. I've said, like, there's chances for people to get out of submissions when you're sweaty, but there's also chances to get them in. Amazon was winning the round, but right now, Storley's getting it back. Trying to lock it down again. Can he get it? It is not there. It's on the jaw. It's on the jaw. Amazon is going to be fine. He just needs to. He's got to calm himself down. He's breathing through his nose. It's yes. pressure on the jaw. Yes. It's not comfortable, especially when you got someone strong like Sterling yes. doing it. That's in tight. You see Amazon starting to turn. Now, nicely done. Great job by him. But if it is 1-1 as we enter the third round, huge momentum swing for Logan Sterling. Absolutely. 20 seconds. Right now, Logan Sterling's arms are heavy from trying to get that choke, but he's fighting, man. What a third round, especially the second half of the third from Logan Storley. It is in the hands of the judges. With a winner by split decision, still undefeated, Yaroslav Dynamo Amazon. The still undefeated didn't give any hint to either fighter as Michael C. Williams gave the official decision. It goes to Dynamo. Watch Bellator 260, Douglas the Phenom Lima versus undefeated 25-0, the Dynamo Yaroslav Amazov for the welterweight world title. Catch it live June 11th on Showtime.